Hello, I'm Wild Odd TV, and welcome to the third tutorial in my Unreal Script series. If you're watching this, that means my last one wasn't too bad, so hopefully I'm doing well. Today we'll be covering conditionals. Now I want you to remember these three keywords, if, else, and else if. These will be our three our conditions. So if this happens, then do this, else, do this, and else if, do this. Now that does sound a little bit confusing, but let's get into it. So let's look at our first keyword if. So open up Visual Studio, open up my game. Now the format for an if statement looks as follows. If condition do this. Now, you may be asking, how do I make a condition? Well, conditions are made using one of the following conditional operators. So, what I want you to do, do a slash and a star. We're starting a comment, a comment box. So, conditional statements. Conditional statements are as follows. There is the less than, which basically means if this variable is less than this variable, do this. Then there's the greater than, the same. If this variable is greater than this variable, <coughs> the less than or equal to, So if this variable is less than, or if it's equal to another variable, greater than or equal to, then there's the or. So if this variable is true, or this, and then there's the and. So if this, condition and this condition is true now I made a mistake up here this should be if this condition is true or this other one okay so here's our conditional statements so let's close this okay so you may want to leave this up here for this tutorial now let's make an example so right here, let's make a variable. So var int test int. Then we're going to make another variable. Var int test int 2. In our code function, let's put test int equals 10. Test int 2 equals 10. Now let's make our first if statement if now our condition for now let's say if test int is equal to test int now I forgot a condition up here there's one more it is the equal to sorry guys I'm a little off <coughs> if this is equal to this so let's first test if int is test int is equal to test int two. Is equal to test int two. Now let's make it do something. So let's copy our log. Let's move our log function in here. And now let's make it say they're equal. So now if test int is equal to test int two, log the function log will say they're equal. Now, what I need to note about conditionals is it uses all, it's all bowling operations. So what this does is it checks if test in is equal to test in two, it will return true, then it will do our conditional, that they're equal. But if it's false, it will do nothing. So this is where you can start messing with huge conditionals. So let's make a more advanced conditional. 
let's say if testing is equal to test is equal to testing two plus one. Now it'll check if testing is equal to testing two plus one. If it is, it'll put they're equal, and if it's not, it won't do anything. And as you can already imagine, they're not equal, so nothing will happen. So you you can already see how this can get fairly complex. Now what? Now let me show you how to use the or. Now I'm going out off on I'm going out of the traditional starting from less than on to end, but I think this this is an easier way to explain some of the more complicated things, and the others will fall into place. So. <coughs> So now let's make a huge conditional. So start open our parentheses. Let's see if test int is equal to test int two, or if test int two is equal to ten. Now what this will do is it'll check first if test int is equal to test int two. If it isn't then it'll go to the next conditional. Test in two is equal to ten. Since it, they're both true, they'll both go here. But if one wasn't true, one of them, or it still is. So test in is equal to test in two still. So the or statement basically means either or. So that's an easy way to test either or conditions. What if you wanted both to be true? Then we would use the AND operator. So we got testing is equal to